Uh, so for most people who come to the gym, uh, when you ask them what's your goal, uh, most of the time they will tell you, I want to reduce my stomach. So they kind of get discouraged when you tell them that's not how it works. You have to work out your whole body then focus on your stomach. You know, you move from the general workout to the specific uh, workout. And so I just want to take maybe the next few weeks and focus on the stomach. Uh, today specifically, I want to do leg raises, uh, which focuses on the lower stomach. So I'll just do a few reps so that uh, you can get to see. Uh, so listen, um, sometimes the sure way of knowing that somebody is proud is when they tell you that they are humble. In fact, just because you are quiet or an introvert does not necessarily mean that you are a humble person. Humility and pride have something to do with self-awareness, how you see yourself. And so for most people who walk in pride, it's because they've compared themselves with probably their peers or the people around them. And they feel that they are better because they have achieved certain things and they have certain credentials. But when you really want to walk in humility, you have to look at yourself in view of God. You have to move closer and closer to God. And when we do that, what normally happens is you will discover that you are really nothing without God. That the closer you get to God, the more you realize how, you know, evil and how weak and how desperate you are. So if you pick any Bible character, you'll discover that almost all of them came to that conclusion, whether it's David or the greatest, one of the greatest prophet Isaiah, who, you know, when he got closer and closer to God, he said, Oh, woe unto me, you know, for I am a man of unclean lips. Or Peter, who told Jesus, get away from me, for I am a sinful man. Or, you know, the super apostle Paul, who said, Oh, wretched man that I am. So the closer you get to God, the more you discover how sinful you are. And so what needs to happen is you have to look inward and not outward. You cannot compare yourself with other people. You have to look inside yourself to really find that place that will help you to walk in humility. Because when God really wants to use you in a great way, he will sometimes put you in a situation where you will have to come low and low. And for many of us, probably that's where we are right now in, in the season of pandemic. We've had to look inside ourselves. God is working on us. If God is your problem, only God can be your solution. You can only fight for so far. And so you have to move from a place of, you know, remove this cup from me and move to the place where you say, not my will, but yours be done. So it is in James 4, 6, the Bible says, and God opposes the proud, but gives grace to those who are humble. I actually like another version that says, and God resists the proud, and God fights the proud, but he gives grace to those who are humble. Humble thyself. 